Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarp Striking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times as we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, positive violation of the social identity, the believers should derive from such thought by which the believers the believers should derive, should derive, should derive. Strengthened here and now, the description of Jesus' own glory is meant to indicate the ascribed honor of the Christian group. The fact that ascribed honor is key to social identity is relevant here. With significance for the reader's ascribed honor is the concept of Son of God as applied to Jesus. Though not entirely new to the Achan, the concept Son of God can only be fully appreciated as it applies to Jesus' sonship as distinct from the sonship as distinct to the Human beings to God, as held by Atkins, can be understood. This implies that Jesus, the Son of God, is unique. The kingdom of Christ and the subjection of his enemies under his foot recalls powerful Achan kings and kingdoms that subdued their enemies. As members of Christ's kingdom, Atkins should appreciate the need to fight of their king while upholding the hope that their oppressors, belonging to the king in the end, Hebrews indicates that Jesus was anointed with the oil of God because he emerged victorious in the contest of mediating God's people to God as seen in his achievement of purification of sins, his exaltation and his loving righteousness and hating evil. Because of this, God now speaks through him as a son instead of the prophets, Heb, Yig no higher powder has been poured on him, is perhaps the Achan version of anointed with the oil of gladness. Victory in a contest comes with praises and celebrations in the Achim or her of pyre. So, so, I, so, 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 I see. Community where the victor lives, his lot and that of his family are honor and pride. The praise of the victor becomes the subject of discussion of the community, especially among women. In cases where the victory is of benefit to the entire community, such as victory in war, songs are composed in honor of the hero and sung while women are out playing. In this light, the positive evaluation of Jesus as one who emerges victorious in the contest of Meus, the victorious mediator with honor from God, cannot be obeyed or ignored without the corresponding high level of reward or punishment, as the argument in Hebrews shows, consistent with the idea that whatever Jesus did was for the benefit of his brothers and sisters, Jesus is presented as suffering when he was tempted, so that he is able to help those who are being tempted head on the cross. Against the suffering includes endurance of death on the cross. Against the suffering is something. I can believer not only of the death, some of their past chiefs, 
went through for the good of their communities, but also the mental agony of contemplating the fact that they had to go through death together with all that they would lose in terms of their possessions and family. Hebrews says Jesus is able to help believers who are facing even worse situations than that of these chiefs, worse because added to the trauma of possible impending death and separation from members of the society, that the Son comes to their aid. Very important for the argument of the author is his indication that his audience are enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift, shared in the Holy Spirit, and tasted the goodness of the Word of God and the powers of the age to come. Heb, the ekin understanding of an enlightened person, Nimdifo, carries the notion of one who has gone through the right training in Hebrews' use of the enlightened ifo is akin to Hebrews' enlightened and perfectly to use in The expression is basis for demanding the appropriate conduct from his audience in their current circumstances. Because they have shared in the Holy Spirit, tasted the goodness of the Word of God, and the powers of the age to come, Heb, they are required as enlightened children of God to return the favor to God their Father. The Aiken saying that most expresses this obligation of children to parents is Wawofo Huma Wuzi Fifi. Wunso we won ma one C two two literature year. Lose their teeth, Dolphine Purse Calm. July, the saying implies that children should not abandon their parents in trying moments. It would therefore not only be a shame, but also evil and egg in thought, if the believers should abandon their father, God, who through their brother, Jesus has granted them all the benefits mentioned pointed out in Hebrews. It is the light of the Father's great beneficent believer's obligation to return favor that all the benefits in Hebrews and abide here. Even the suffering they are going through is God's discipline that is meant for their good. Heb and a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Hers is the heavenly city. Heb cannot be shaken. Heb, all these benefits and more are available to the members because their father through Jesus, their brother, made them possible. The Aiken adult child who fails to take care of his or her parents and their only do parents of the community not only do parents of the thought of such ingratitude, but also their reaction, person. It is therefore not difficult for the Aiken believer to appreciate Hebrews' argument that God has done so much for his children to make their abandonment of him in their suffering an unforgivable offense. If the believer should endure suffering, it is because it is God's way of training them as legitimate children. Heb, in the Aiken society, is required of all who are expected to know their obligations and fulfill members of the family. Assume. If the Aiken believer, the immense privileges and benefits so described in Hebrews, then the best training must be obtained, and as Hebrews indicates, such training is not meant to be easy. Hence their experience of suffering gods, training Heb, 
Such training is not of argument based on the conviction that believers must behave in manner consistent with that of the ethnic group to which they belong. The usual phrases, at of the ethnic group to which they belong, a conning casa sa, and I can does not speak like this, and a conning I sa, and I can does not do that express this belief and expectation. As noted of the character of the Ekin person, the son some inherited from the father determines the character traits of the child. Then ten, also of the father and to which the child belongs, has strong indications for one's fair expecting children to exhibit these traits in the child also provides further visions than child. Oh. Writer of Hebrews does of his audience. The author intends the qualities of Jesus portrayed in Hebrews to be seen as typical of members of the family of God, as those qualities are reflections of God their Father throughout Hebrews. These qualities of Jesus define what must be one's right attitude to suffering as faithful children of God. Jesus suffered death which he tasted for everyone, and he was crowned with glory and honor as a result, Heb. He is faithful over God's Heb, because he took to a number of ways. In the days of his flesh, he offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence, Heb. He learned obedience through what he suffered and being made perfect. He became the source of salvation to all who obey him, Heb. For the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross scorning its shame and is now seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Five, believers consider him. They too will not grow weary or faint-hearted. Heb, the implication for the believers is clear. They too, like Jesus, must follow these ways of Jesus, their brother who has received